Hola, ¿qué tal? View View Miss class on Thursday. So I thought I'd make a short video to help you catch up on some of the activities. We will be going back over the key areas of learning to do with our new verb for to be. Um, and also um, we will be going back over um, the adjectives that we're going to be using with the verb to be. Um, and hopefully next week we'll be playing a game of I spy and also a game of guess who. Also, we'll be looking at the Spanish city of Granada, which is in the background behind me now. But for today, we're going to play the bingo, which is on your page of the book that we've been working on. And we are also going to have a quick look at our personal pronouns, me, you, he, she, we, you plural, and them. We are also going to have a quick look at some of those adjectives that we can use with this new verb to be, which describe physical appearance and characteristics, so personality traits. So, vámonos primero con el bingo. Abre los libros a la página 22, por favor. Open your books at page 22. And you'll see at the bottom some boxes, some yellow boxes by the pink cat, the gato F, the gato rosado. And I'd like you to choose seis números diferentes entre diez y veinte. So pause the video here, write a different number in each box between 10 and 20. So pause now. Okay, listo? Are you ready? Vámonos. Doce. Can you repeat after me? Doce. Diecinueve. And some of you like to say tengo. I have or no tengo, I don't have. Trece. Diez. Once. Dieciséis. Diecisiete. Catorce. Dieciocho. Y quince. Bravo, bingo. Now, do you remember these words? And we're going, they're going to come up again in a minute in our game of I spy. So I would like you to listen to me and point to the picture in your book, the picture on the screen, or the parts of your head. So the things here in outlined in red or with the red arrow, they're feminine nouns, they're girl words. And we're using the article the. So la, the girl words, the ones with the blue arrows are boy words. So el, or if it's plural, los. And you'll also say with the picture for the ears, it's plural as well, so it's las. So not only are we learning some words for the head, but also getting to practice those four words for the in Spanish. The masculine, the feminine in singular and in plural. OK, so escucha and show me. La cabeza. Los ojos. La nariz. La boca. Las orejas. El pelo. El cuello. Excellent. One more time. La cabeza. Los ojos. La nariz. La boca. Las orejas. El pelo. El cuello. Fantástico. Excellent. So. Perhaps you would like to choose your favorite word from that list and have a practice saying it. So I like to say el cuello, el cuello. What's yours? Maybe you can tell me at our next class. Now we're going to have a look at our verb to be um, ser. 
And we're going to come back and play a quick game of I spy with those words in a little while. But first, we'll have a look at our verb to be. Now, we looked at one verb to be, for to be, estar, a few weeks ago. And that was the one that we could use to say where something is. And it, we were doing it as well with how we were currently feeling to do with states of emotion, about being tired, about being poorly, about being sad, about being happy. We've also used that a lot to say where things are located. Whereas this is the other verb in Spanish for to be. And this verb is used with characteristics and things that tend not to change. So we can use it with describing physical appearance, not just of people, but of things. Like el coche es rojo, the car is red. El coche es grande, the car is big. So we can come in here about also saying about whether people are tall or short, whether they are redheaded, whether they are a boy or a girl. All right, so the important things to look at on this page, we're going to have a look at what we call our pronombres personales, our personal pronouns. And you'll see in the boxes with the orange writing, we're going to look at the words that go down the left hand side of each box. And next week, we're going to complete this activity. So we have me or I, do. Can you say that and point to yourself? Do. Now I want you to take a toy or perhaps someone's watching this video with you. I've got Pablo the bear. I'm gonna say you, tu, tu. Two. Now, in the background, I've got my, my kids, and I'm going to point at George, and I'm going to say L, he, L. And then there's my friend Estefania, so I'm going to say she, ella. So I've got me, you, him, he, her. You ready? Try it again with me. Yo, me, tú. Pablo, you, Pablo. El, him, George, ella, she, Estefania. And then we've got the ones that are in the plural. We, nosotros. And that's what we say when it's a mixture of boys and girls. Just like in my picture behind me, I've got my, my boys, mis niños. I'm a, a girl, Estefania's a girl, Pablo's a boy. So when it's all boys or a mixture of boys and girls, it's we is nosotros. If it was just myself and Estefania, who is a girl, you see, Estefania, it would be nosotras, we. The same goes with you, plural, all of you. When we're in the class, when I refer to all of you, and in our class, we have boys and girls. So that's vosotros. And when I speak to my two sons, who are two boys, I would also use vosotros. Whereas if I was speaking to just the girls in the class or Estefania and her sister, it would be vosotras. And then we have the plural for um, them or they, for boys, mixture of boys and girls, which is ellos like Alex and George, ellos, or like me and Estefania, ellas. That's why there's two versions of each word. But remember, if it's a mixture of boys and girls or boy and girl things that we're talking about, we use the one with the O, oh, nosotros, vosotros, ellos. Whereas when it's just girls or girl words, um, nosotras, vosotras, and ellas. Excelente. So, Knowing that, we're just going to be looking at yo soy. I am for the moment, yo soy. And if you look in our y también circle above, it says soy pelirrojo and soy pelirroja. Can you see that? The uh, people with the red hair. So they are saying they are red headed. So that's an adjective. They're describing what color their hair is. Now, if we look down to the grey cat, gato e, you can see just like with pelirrojo and pelirrojo, there's some adjectives there. Some end with an a and some end with an o. 
And just like we know from when we say things are small, they can be pequeño, if it's a boy word, or pequeña, if it's a girl word. We've also looked at changing the endings for certain color words as well, like rojo and roja. In this activity, which you can do at home, I'd like you to circle, rodeo, what is relevant for you. So should we go through the options and you can decide which ones are relevant for you. So soy simpática means I'm kind, but I'm sure you all are kind, but only, on, only circle this one if you are a chica, if you're a girl, because it ends in an a, soy simpática. Let me say, have soy bajo. Bajo means not very tall, short, but it ends in an o. So only circle that one if you're a boy and you're not very tall. Soy guapa, that means I'm good looking. And again, ending in an a, so only circle that one if you're a girl. Soy una chica, I am a chica, a girl. Soy alto, I am tall. What do you think, for a boy or for a girl? Soy alto, that's right, for chicos, for boys, because it ends with the o oh, at the end of the adjective. Soy simpático, I am kind, again, like our first one. Pero sí, se caduca con o, it ends with an o, oh, so that's for you, the chicos, the boys. And here we go, soy un chico. Soy un bebé. Are you a baby? Soy un perro. Whoa, whoa, there is un perro. Are you a dog? No. Soy baja. That's the one for I am short. But is that one for girls or boys? Si, sí, para chicas, for girls, because it ends with an A. Ah. Soy alta. I'm tall. Maybe you are tall for your age, but only circle that one. That's right, if you're a girl. Soy un tren. Choo choo. Soy guapo. I am good looking, but ending in an O. Oh, I am. Guapo for boys. Soy un fantasma. I am a ghost. And that's one of those irregular nouns because it's un fantasma. So it's a boy word, but it's ending in an a. And then we have soy un gato. Maybe you would like to underline that. Fantastical. Well done, everybody. That was really nice. It's a lot to take in, but perhaps you might want to look on the page and um, have, a, have a think about which ones relate to you and practice saying those as well. Now it's time for us to have a quick go at the I Spy game, which if you've got a family member that's happy to play this with you at home, I'll set you up by playing the first round or two and then you can have a go with somebody at home. So this is, the, there's actually a song for this for the rhyme, a bit like we have I spy with my little eye. They say, I see, I see. And then everybody says, what do you see? The player says, a little thing. And everybody else asks, what thing is it? And then they say what letter it starts with. And then everybody asks, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? So off we go. I'll start you off. Veo, veo. You say, que ves? I say, una cosita. And you say, que cosita es? I'm going to say, empieza por la P. It starts with the P, the letter P. And you say, what could it be? What could it be? Que será, que será, que será. So what could it be? Use your book to help you on page 22. You've got the pictures for these with all the Spanish words written underneath. So remember the lo, la, las, los is the word for the. What we're looking for is the word for the noun or the hair color as well. Muy bien. Si, es pelo, hair. Excellent, I'll do one more with you now. Veo, veo, una cosita empieza por la C. Now use that alphabet sheet that I've put there to help you work out what letter is C. We'll start with A, A, B, 
C. A, B, C. So C is C. Now, if you look on your list of words in your book, there's a couple of possibilities for C. Why don't you try having a guess? It's a bit of a clue because I said this was one of my favourite words earlier on in the video. C is cuello. Cuello, but it could have been cabeza. Excelente. Well, I think you've all done really well with that today. And we will be coming back, like I said, to go over the, the words we'll be doing with all those adjectives and working on our physical descriptions. There's one more activity in the book that you could have a go at at home. And I'm going to show it on the screen now and help you complete it. It's on the other page, Pagina 23. Pagina 23. And I'm going to type in the answers. So we've got some adjectives in boxes. We have got these ones here for boys. L is, he is. Remember our pronouns? L, he, like for George, he is. So all the ones that relate to the boy characters, numbers one and four. Chicos, uno y cuatro. We've also got some words in a red box for ella. She is. And then we've got some that don't matter whether we can use them with boys and girls. All right, because it's relating to their hair color. So the subject is the hair, which is a boy word, hence why the adjectives here all end in O. Oh. Rubio, blonde, castaño, brown haired, or negro, black hair. Muy bien. And these are our adjectives that we had in our previous activity. So looking at numero uno, which is this guy with the blonde hair, the number one, it describes him. El, he, es, he is, and that's from our verb ser, el es. Señor José Pérez, that's his name, Mr. José Pérez, es, and now we've got an adjective to describe him. So it's a, he's a, he's a man, so we need to look in the blue box, and it starts with a B, and it's to do with this height. So have a look in the blue box above and choose the correct word that fits. That's right, it's bajo, and with a j, 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 not a j. Muy bien. Now we're going to talk about his hair. Tiene el pelo. So look in the box about el pelo, the grey box. Sí. And the only one beginning with a R is rubio. We look at the picture. What colour is his hair? That's right. It's blonde. And now we're going to describe an element of his character. And it says he is very. Es. He is. Muy. And look in the blue box. What begins with an S? That's right, simpatico. That's right, he is very kind. Make sure you've written all that in, pause the video if you need to catch up, and then press play when you're done. All right, numero dos. Do you see the very tall girl? Who doesn't look too happy? She's not smiling. She's very tall. She's got black hair. So, ella es Maria. She is. Maria es, and then we're going to choose the adjective, alta, that's right, alta, tall. Tiene el pelo, this is just like the colour, it's not a word for blonde or brown hair that we're not using the colour word, it's actually the word for black. No es, she isn't muy. That's right, from the red box this time, simpática. She's not very nice, very kind. Numero tres. Ella es la señora Carmen González. Es. So it's another girl. It's a description of her appearance, beginning with a B. That's right, baja. Tiene el pelo. So again, that word pelo meaning hair. She has the hair. What color is her hair? And it starts with a C. That's right, castaña, chestnut hair. Es, is she kind? Si, simpática. Now we have, él es 
Javier. Number four. Can you see the tall guy with the red hair? The bad smiley face? So yes, we're going to say he's tall. But from the blue box, that's right. Alto. El es alto. Es... Mm. Now, it doesn't say what about... This is about his hair colour. But we're going to look in the L box for a word that begins with P. That's right. Peli rojo. He has he is a redhead rather than he has red hair. Es, that's right, he's kind. Simpático. Muy bien. And then this book under here, it's y tú and you. So this you fill out about yourself. Me llamo, I'm called. So you put your name in. And then you can choose from whether you're a boy or a girl, two adjectives from the adjectives boxes. And then you can say you have the hair, rubio, castaño, or negro. Whereas if you've got red hair, you need to use the soy bit. So if you're not got red hair, you don't need to, you can delete this bit where it says soy and choose from the el pelo box up here. Whereas if you've got red hair, you're going to need to use the soy and then choose from the red or the blue box, the word for being red headed. So have a go at that at home, writing it out for yourself. You um, can always go back on the video and pause the screen to copy down my answers if you didn't have time to write them in. Y nos vemos 